Hey y'all, welcome back to The Ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today um, we're going to be doing an unboxing from my buddy Scott Winard at Let's Do Bonsai, my broski out of England. He uh, sent me yesterday, out of nowhere, totally unexpected, a Bonsai Seed Starter Kit, the homegrown Bonsai Seed Starter Kit. And he let me know that he's going to be starting one as well. Uh, Nigel Saunders at the Bonsai Zone and Tom at Clip and Grow Bonsai for Seniors. We're all going to be starting these together. I think actually Tom's video is already out. Uh, so you can check that one out. I'm going to do this one a little bit differently than I've done them in the past. In the past, um, when I was first starting out, I went through the whole process and kind of uh, just talked through it. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do a step-by-step -step process, very nice, uh, streamlined, to the point. And then at the end, I will show you some of the, uh, the bonsais that I have started that are two to four years old that are the same species. So what you can look for if this is your initial grow kit. So we have here uh, Picea abies, which is uh, the Norwegian spruce which is very uh, difficult actually to get to sprout and then continue on um, growing past the seedling. I've had a bunch sprout up uh, in the two different kits that basically withered up before they really finished their first year of growth. Um, so we have the four pots here. There's four species of trees. There is, this is the medium that we'll have to add water to, but that'll be part of the step-by-step -step process. We have four discs that will that are for a drip tray. We won't be using those because I'm going to be putting mine under a grow light that has a built-in drip tray. And, oh, it looks like you get a free gift uh, if you go to their website. That's cool. And so all of the seeds are in here. And then you have four stakes, so you could write the four different uh, seeds. So we talked about the Picea abies, the Norwegian spruce. I have some full-size ones outside that I could get a shot for you later. In fact, if you um, wait until the end of the video, you will get pretty much a shot of all of these in uh, bonsai form or full-grown. Uh, this is Delonyx regia, my first and my oldest bonsai. That is about four years old now. And Pinus aristata or bristlecone pine. That's a really cool, slow growing pine. I have a couple of those uh, about four years as well. Jacarana mimosifolia. That's uh, also known as the, um, the blue jacaranda, if you've seen it in other kits. And I have a few of those that we could look at as well in different stages of life. They're more like two to three years old. And here's a kelp nutrition pack. So step by step. Thanks a lot. My broski Scott Winard at Let's Do Bonsai. I highly encourage you to check out his channel, not just to watch this uh, grow kit series, but he has a lot going on and some uh, great greenhouse, just a whole lot going on. Check him out. So bonsai grow kit, homegrown. That's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. <laughs> Regia. It will be four years old this February 16th. And this started in the Bonsai Planter's Choice Bonsai Starter Kit. So you see nice lush foliage, basically an irregular upright trunk. Any trouble I have with this is that it grows quickly and uh, not always in the best direction. So I have hard pruned it confidently and often. I waited eight months to give it its first pruning. And by then the one seedling that did sprout up hit the ceiling within eight months. And that's when I pruned it for its first time. 
that's what you can expect with the Delonix Regia, otherwise known as the Flame Tree, or the Grand Poinsettia, I believe. All right, here we have the Blue Jacaranda, or Jacaranda Mimosophilia. And this received a really hard pruning to the point where there was no foliage left uh, about a month ago. And as you see, it is coming out with nice tender new growth. It's light green, similar leaves and structure to the Delonyx Regia. But from what I've noticed over four years are the Blue Jacarandas. They, uh, they grow longer and stringier. They follow the sun more and it's harder to get a thicker trunk. So this one's starting to thicken up. I'm actually getting an active bud right here. And that would be great to get a lower branch. This turn in the trunk was natural. I did not wire. Like I said, they really, when they're younger, tender growth, they'll follow the sun and they'll hit that bend. And that's where they will remain. And kind of, I pruned it here once it had a nice turn there. And then when it came back, I pruned it again hard up top. So I have a nice out and back, keeping it within the pot, which is what I look for. So that's what you can expect after two and a half to three years growth with a blue jacker on okay so here i have our four species under my grow light and like i said that is a plastic little drip tray there so i could feel free to water there are holes at the bottom of all these pots so i dated and labeled each of these in a ballpoint pink pen because it was the only permanent pen i could find i could literally only find like dry erase markers and um <laughs> that wasn't going to work so i have a couple of new max twilight chilies from another grow crit grow kit these are a few years old i just pruned them back hard with a little bit of the new peppers but anyways so these are front and center. We should do well with them. As you saw, there was a perfect amount of soil. I just topped off these at the very end with the very little bit that remained, squeezing off all the excess water before putting the soil in the pot. And I'm looking forward to this. So I'll give you an update when they, hopefully all of them, all species, break the surface and start germinating. So before I let you go, I'm going to take you outside and show you a Norwegian spruce or Picea abies and the Pinus aristata. All right, y'all. So you see my cold hardy trees are good and happy in their little ice thermos <laughs> covered in some snow. And then um, all of the pots themselves are surrounded by bark mulch. So down here, if we could see in here best uh, let's get brighter okay so there are two uh, from seed colorado blue spruce and then up here is a bristlecone pine it's really frozen in there maybe you could see the trunk so it took about three years for them to really start to branch out uh, actually so a good amount of time the Blue Jacaranda and the Delonyx Regia, they'll give you a lot of fun even in the first year. But the Spruce, they're finicky, like I said. And the Pinus Aristata are extremely slow growers. So here's the other one that I have. And it is, this is planted in a single pot. Sorry you can't see it, but you can see lots of nice healthy branching. This has only been pruned once and not severely at all. Okay, let me open up to the wide lens before I close out. So along my property, I have Norwegian spruce or Picea abies. Those are probably 50 feet tall, eh, maybe 40 feet tall. And then white pines going out to the front. There's blue spruce. Okay, so you got pines connecting to blue spruce and some white spruce beautiful sugar maple there anyways and it continues that along the other side as well and it kind of gets everything like it's a compound so it's surrounded by a nice rim of really older established trees and then we get to appreciate 
really appreciate the view of the pond and uh, the mountain with a tower in the winter because there's no leaves on these trees. But the best is in the summer when we get to paddleboard and swim. So thinking of warmer days and wishing you all the best of luck on this grow kit. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I feel very confident on these four species of trees to help you with any questions that you may have. So I'm Jerry Paul from the ranch. Cheers.